This week on The Sound of Music, we talk to a new wave and slightly gothic Manchester band. This, Joy Division, is one band that we talk to today, and we're talking to their charismatic lead singer, Ian Curtis. And we asked him, why does he keep hanging around the music scene, and why won't Love Will Tear Us Apart go away? Yeah, well, when we first started, you know, it was really hard, and I was listening to Velvet Underground, and and uh, Steve was like a, a computer playing the, the drums all the time, and and Barney was, you know, stumbling over his guitar like uh, an, a, an absolute idiot, and Hooky was in the in the corner like a, a drunken idiot, jumping up and down like a, a stupid jackrabbit, um, and I was out the front of the stage, uh, you know, like going like a possessed girl doing backstroke on stage, except I was uh, obviously standing up, and um, Tony Wilson came up to us one day and, and said he liked that music a lot, and uh, if we'd like to support the Buzzcocks, uh, I was a bit reluctant at first because, you know, Pete Shelley from the Buzzcocks uh, had a bit of a reputation for uh, cracking on to other male lead singers of other bands, and especially of the new wave type. And um, so I told Tony Wilson, you know, as long as he keeps away from me, um, we'll be fine. We'll go on tour with them. And it was uh, it was a soul destroying tour, but uh, you know, look at us now. We're more famous now that I've passed on and. You know, people are buying our records uh, a lot now, and uh, it's put really put Manchester on the map, as a matter of fact. And you know, this fucking new water shit is is really pissing me off. It's uh, it's something that I never envisioned uh, music to go in that direction, and I think the other three were being absolute sods to change my music like that and uh, you know having said that I, I prefer Gary Newman's uh, tracks to any other stuff New Water has done in the past and, and that, that's all I really have to say about the matter and uh, yeah